Hi guys, I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here at the Paley Center for the Fox Fall Preview. We're going to be talking to the cast of Mulaney as well as Red Band Society. So I saw the show and I really enjoyed it. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you got involved in, in the production of this. I came into the process a little late. I came into it after the pilot had already been shot and I was brought in um, just, just a few months ago at this point and sort of came in to help get the stories going and it's just been a completely amazing experience. I'm so happy and so lucky to have done it. What kind of drew you to, to the show? The pilot, I think for sure. When I watched it, I had, it, it sort of evoked this bizarre nostalgia in me. I got a little John Hughesy going on, which really speaks to my world. <laughs> so, and it's kind of where I grew up. I grew up on the WB. That's my background. And a lot of this felt like, oh, we, we could have done this. We would have done this. This is sort of Dawson's times 10, but with, with more humor and more fun. And I think it's an, it's, it's just, I was really impressed with how well it came out and I wanted to be part of it going forward. The concept of the show is really interesting. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this on TV before. No, I don't think we have either. I think it's sort of, it was a magical moment in time. I know it had been in the development process for a while, so I think it just all kind of, the stars collided with Fault in Our Stars and this happening sort of around the same time when it's like you see teenagers are interested in taking on deeper subjects. They want, they're curious, that you can't, you can't just throw these kids a little like a Dawson's moment where it's yeah. just climbing up a roof. Yeah. They want more, and I think this show sort of answers that for them. Yeah, it's definitely uh, more relatable, I think, yeah. than, than what we've seen in the past. Definitely, and I think it's hit, It's for whatever reason, it's in the zeitgeist, the mortality. I think maybe because we've been dealing with vampires for so long, and now we're like, well, what happens the other way around? <laughs> in real life, yeah. in real life? So this is kind of, for me, it's great. Yeah. Was there a lot of research done? Because uh, the subject matter is sensitive, but to try to make it not dark, but kind of like be give a more honest approach to what, what this we is like? a lot. We have two doctors. We have one working with us in Atlanta, and then we have another doctor that we sort of work with in, the, in on the writing staff who kind of helps guide us. And again, we're, we're working very hard to stay as true and honest to the diseases that we're representing as possible, but at the same time, there is a slightly heightened sensibility to the show, and we do want to have fun with it, and we don't want to focus too much on the dark, dark, darkness, so we, you, you know, it's not ER. Yeah, I think the show, no, I think the show really accomplishes that, like, it, the, I was going to ask you next, like, what, about the, uh, the chemistry on set between all the actors, like, how, how has it been? They're pretty in love with each other in the best possible way. I think if you've seen their ALS challenge, that really speaks to it amazingly. They're just, they're great. I think they've all, like, it's always the thing that happens when you kind of send a cast out of LA and people are out of their element and they're sort of they're all sort of living together and in this weird way they have become the Red Band Society because they're out there alone in Atlanta and they're doing their thing and all they have is each other and I think it's just created this amazing bond that they're really they're a unit. It definitely comes through on yeah. screen so that's yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. It was nice, nice to meeting you. Thanks for watching guys. Tell me you like this video by hitting like and also subscribe for more interviews and leave me a comment telling me what your new favorite fall show is.